So the official announcement of the PS5 Pro is imminent. And this has been an open secret during this Gamescom conference. Today we have the CAD files leak, the official naming of the PS5 Pro, which we saw that coming from a mile away. It's been six months since my last video. In that video I discussed if you should wait for the PS5 Pro or just get the PS5 Slim and call it a day. And in case you guys have been living under a rock, the PS5 Pro is basically a beefier PS5, bringing in more power, which means it's gonna be better performance. The design of the PS5 Pro is gonna be very similar to the PS5 Slim. As you can see, there's a vent cutout. It has three stripes. Uh, no, this is not Adidas. So better cooling, better ventilation. And you can see overall the console is a lot more thicker. And that is to be expected because the PS5 Pro is expected to be much more powerful. The GPU is rumored to be 45% faster. They're gonna up up the ante with the teraflops. So you're getting 36.1 teraflops. Also, you're getting a two to four times ray trace and boost. Now the CPU is gonna be exactly the same, but there's a new mode that can clock it higher about 10%. The memory RAM is gonna be 28% faster. Now, just like the PS4 Pro, the PS5 Pro is gonna feature PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution Upscaling Technology, better known as PSSR. And the screen resolution is supported up to 8K and is set to release 2024 holiday season, which is, believe it or not, around the corner. All that power is gonna translate a thicker system, but it's gonna be very interesting to see the differences between a regular OG PS5 versus a PS5 Pro. I'm definitely gonna be comparing that. Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on so you guys don't miss it. Very similar to the PS5. Gotta follow that design language, of course. Now you guys are probably looking at it. Where's the optical drive? Very similar to the PS5 Slim. That is gonna be optional. So uh, for this case, the PS5 Pro is not gonna come with an optical drive unless Sony has a bundle where you can get the optical drive and the PS5 Pro, but I can only imagine how the price tag is gonna be. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit. But most of my games on PlayStation are digital. I can't even tell you when was the last time I purchased a physical copy game. And more than likely, you could be able to swap out the plates, change, to the different colors that Sony has to offer. And I think we need some new plates too. I think Sony should probably get back into the works of new plates. Now it's also reported that this will include a standard DualSense controller. There was a rumor that Sony is planning on making a DualSense V2 controller to feature a long and lasting battery life. And it's so crazy to think that all of this is gonna be announced within the next two weeks. And I'm pretty sure the release date is gonna be somewhere maybe even next month or even October. One of those two months, we're gonna see the PS5 Pro in action is insane. It's just insane. I'm just a tech head. I love seeing new technology, things improving, but just put in my average consumer cap on for a second. Do you need the power? And this is one of the things that people have been complaining about. Oh, we don't have no games on the PS5. Why do we need a PS5 Pro? And I hear you guys, I understand. And especially when the PS5 first released, it was during the pandemic. People didn't get their hands on the PS5 right away. We got people just now getting the PS5 or even last year and they're ready a PS5 Pro is coming out. So I understand from that aspect and not to mention having the PS5 since day one pre-ordered it during the pandemic. I could tell you guys that the PS5 is aging like fine wine. I love the SSD speeds. Um, the UI is fast. We really don't need a Pro. It's not like the PS4 where we needed a PS4 Pro because around that time in 2016, 4K TVs were becoming the norm. And of course the PS4 only supported 1080p. So that's where the PS4 Pro comes in to have 4K checkerboard rendering. So you have uh, you know higher quality visuals and that was just a different time. So now with the PS5 Pro, we don't need that. And 8K is nowhere near the standard. I mean, nobody has an 8K TV. I mean, if you do, then you're probably that 1%. So we don't really necessarily need a PS5 Pro. And yes, the extra power and the ray tracing performance is nice. I can't wait to see it, especially seeing um, how GTA 6 is gonna run on it. How is it gonna be with the frame rates? Are we gonna be able to get uh, 4K 120 with ray tracing? 
that would be awesome so the ps5 pro it has a lot of like it has a lot of questions i mean it's a lot of questions that need to be answered and um and i can't wait you guys don't want to miss anything because i'm going to cover everything the best as i can um and very quickly talking about gta 6 this is going to be the game where people are gonna buy PS5 Pros. I mean, we got people still keeping their PS4s because they don't see the need to upgrade to the PS5 just due to the lack of games that they're interested. Believe it or not, Black Ops 6 is on the PS4 and PS5. You know, you have certain developers that still supporting the PS4 to the point where they don't see the need to upgrade. And I think that's what's messing up this console generation for sure. But when GTA 6 come around, we already know that that isn't coming to the PS4 or last gen consoles for that matter. People are going to have to buy a PS5 regardless to experience GTA 6 unless you wait it out on PC. But that's for another story. It's going to be very interesting to see how GTA 6 is going to perform on the PS5 versus the PS5 Pro. Because if GTA 6 can run 60 on the Pro and not on the regular PS5, people are probably going to be piss i think people are going to be pissed off uh but it's going to be a selling point you know having that extra power is going to be a selling point at some point um if you have your favorite games that can have higher frame rates you want to get a pro so performance can sell but it's all about the games and hopefully sony can push out more games for 2025 or even this year i mean i think it's kind of too late this year to announce any big games um but maybe next year we'll get some heavy hitting games um if you have your ps5 i wouldn't worry about it too much but if you're on the fence of getting a ps5 in general i would highly recommend waiting for the pro and that's a perfect segue to the price point currently the slim model costs uh 450 for the digital only and 499 for the optical drive version of the ps5 slim now it's rumored that the ps5 pro almost says slim it's gonna either cost between 550 to even 650. Now, I'm thinking it's gonna cost $600. I think that's gonna be the safest bet. Just because the PS5 Slim is 499, so you add in another $100, you get the more beefier PS5. But if they also charge 550 for it, then only $50 extra, you could get a more powerful PS5. Sony should definitely price it around the 600 price point and for some people that's a tough pill to swallow and even 700 i mean 700 if they do that oof that's gonna hurt <laughs> that's gonna hurt so but here's a wild card if sony drops the price of the slim and price the pro at 500 yeah that's gonna surprise me but i don't think that's gonna happen we haven't seen a price cut for the ps5 yet we saw one for the ps4 when that came out with the slim and the pro but I don't think that's going to happen again just due to the global economy and everything going on. So uh, more than likely $600 is going to be the price point for the PS5. Um, I can't wait for the PS5 Pro. Uh, the announcement is around the corner. They said in the next two weeks. So somewhere in September, we will see the official announcement of the PS5 Pro. And release date, the next coming months, we will see the PS5 Pro. So let me know down in the comments down below, are you planning on upgrading your PS5? And if you don't have a PS5, are you planning on getting a PS5 Pro or just, just getting a Slim? I mean, there's nothing wrong with the PS5 Slim. You're still getting 4K, 120, still getting ray tracing, but do performance matter to you as a whole? That's the real question. All right, guys, that concludes today's video. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, and until next time, hope you all have a simple day. Peace.